Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to share some of the basic information about how silver nanoparticles kill pathogens. Okay, so basically the silver particles are used for wide range of applications including healthcare products, textile, cosmetics due to their strong antibacterial activity. So uh, other than this antibacterial activity, the silver nanoparticles have good chemical stability, good catalytic activity and good optical properties. So because these all properties of silver nanoparticles are strongly influenced by their size and the shapes. Okay, so because um, similar to other metallic nanoparticles, this uh, silver nanoparticle also we can synthesize from uh, in different size and shapes from our uh, laboratory by various synthesis approaches like uh, there are different synthesis methods are there like physical and chemical synthesis methods so uh, some of the uh, uh, one is a physical method that is evaporation condensation and laser ablation methods are most important physical approaches another is chemical met uh, methods uh, so which include chemical reduction methods so in this we can use uh, many uh, any, any organic or inorganic reducing agents so uh, and with suitable capping agent for the better stability and uh, another uh, synthesis approaches are micro emulsion uh, uv initiate photo reduction method micro assist uh, wave assisted synthesis like different approaches are there okay so in based on that we can uh, synthesize different shape of uh, silver nanoparticle like a road a cubes or pyramids or triangle like different uh, nanoparticle we can synthesize okay so next is uh, the properties of silver nanoparticles the first one is the optical properties so the optical properties um, similar to uh, the metal uh, means other metal nanoparticle like coal nanoparticle it have SPR effect that is surface plasmon res resonance that is when silver nanoparticle are exposed to specific wavelength of light then the oxidating um, electromagnetic field of the light which induce a collective co coherent oxidation of the free electron in this um, particle surface so which cause some uh, charge separation uh, with, uh, with respect to the ionic lattice so that uh, will create some dipole oxidation along the direction of the electric field of the light so when this amplitude of this oxidation reaches the uh, maximum at a specific frequency so that we call as the uh, surface plasmon resonance okay so other uh, optical properties like it have size and shape dependent absorption and scattering properties so these are the optical properties of the silver nanoparticles other is the antibacterial effect so because of the antibacterial effect of silver nanoparticle which have been used to uh, control bacterial growth in variety of applications including healthcare uh, applications like dental work, surgery applications, wound and burn uh, treatments and biomedical devices like different applications are there. So in this section I am going to discuss a detail about how uh, silver nanoparticles kill the bacteria. Okay. That is antibacterial mechanism of uh, silver nanoparticle. Okay, so uh, there is uh, an exact effect of uh, silver nanoparticle on bacteria is uh, still undefined. So even though uh, there are two uh, antibacterial mechanisms which are widely accepted, uh, that is one is contact killing, another is ion mediated killing. Okay, so first one is contact killing or uh, di direct means killing. So in this um, when the silver nanoparticle uh, interacted uh, with this bacteria or microbes, then um, uh, this silver nanoparticle can anger to the bacteria cell wall and uh, then that leads to infiltrate, uh, completely infiltrate it, okay. So in this picture we can see when 
there is silver sil- nanoparticle interacted with the na- membrane i mean uh, bacteria membrane then uh, it uh, damage the membrane uh, surfaces and then uh, it leads to some uh, leakage of uh, cellular components and further uh, bacterial death okay so um, uh, there are many uh, researchers report reported that this uh, this kind of antibacterial effect of a uh, silver nanoparticle uh, on gra- uh, is more in gram negative bacteria than uh, gram positive bacteria okay so the the, the reason is this uh, gram and positive bacteria have uh, cell wall thickness around 30 nanometer but uh, this gram negative bacteria is uh, um, how the uh, cell wall thickness of 3 to 4 nanometer okay uh, next is uh, if you need to enhance the antibacterial effect of silver nanoparticle uh, we need to alter the surface charge of silver nanoparticle okay why because this uh, cell wall of this bacteria is made up of uh, means carboxyl phosphate and amino groups so because of that it have negative charge so because of this negative charge there are there is a electrostatic uh, attraction between this uh, silver nanoparticle and the uh, bacterial surface so if um, the silver nanoparticle with more positive charge it can bind uh, is okay so likewise we can enhance the antibacterial effect okay so uh, in uh, in addition to that this one the silver nanoparticle enter into the bacterial uh, cell wall um, and it uh, enter into the uh, cytoplasm and it uh, interacted with the different biomolecules and the cellular organs and uh, which leads to some Uh, production of uh, reactive oxygen species like uh, uh, hydrogen peroxide superoxide and single singlet oxygen so uh, once the production of ros is more uh, that leads to some unbalancing in between the ros and the antioxidant so that leads to uh, some damages like lipid peroxidation dna damage so likewise also this cell death is occur okay so next is another one approach is the ion mediated uh, means approaches that is okay so in this ion mediated approaches uh, this um, silver nanoparticle uh, release uh, ag plus into bacteria okay so that uh, release of this ion is depend upon the size of the nanoparticle that is if uh, size of the nanoparticle is very small it have higher surface area okay so it can release more uh, ions okay compared to the larger particle so once this uh, silver nanoparticle release the ions it can interface with the uh, self hydride um, Uh, groups in the enzymes and proteins which is present in the cell wall okay uh, so uh, it bind with this uh, this group so that it can bind to this proteins and then this protein get uh, uh, deactivate okay so uh, then it enter into the um, uh, cytoplasm means uh, into the cell and then uh, it um, cause some oxidative stress so this oxidative stress will lead uh, more production of ros and then leads to cell death okay so this is about the ion mediated ion mediated uh, and the bacterial mechanism okay so this is all about the uh, how this um, silver nanoparticle kills the microbes okay so next is the application part so because of these unique properties like a good antibacterial effect uh, unique optical properties it is uh, the silver nanoparticles are widely used in different applications like 
antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, okay, uh, and we can use this filo nanoparticle in cosmetics, uh, water treatment, textile application, biosensing, yes, different applications are there, okay, that's it, okay, thank you for Video. watching, if you like this tutorial, please share with your friends and contacts, thank you.